My name is Robert Schenken. I've been a writer for 32 years. My three bits of advice are the following. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Writing a play or the life of a writer is not something that um, you should think of as just this moment and this moment only it has to happen right now. It's a much longer journey involved. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing because there will be lots of twists and turns uh, in that particular road, lots of disappointments and setbacks, but also success and achievement. And the only way to really get through that and stay positive and creative is to think in long term. I first began as an actor writer. My problem, my struggle as an actor was that I could so clearly see the performance in my mind that I wanted to give that it actually left me a little frozen on stage. And, and I had this wonderful acting teacher and it just used to make her crazy. And finally, one day in class, when I was on stage performing and she just stood up out of her chair, literally grabbed her hair and shouted across the seats, Robert, Robert, you must leave something for God. And that was actually one of the best pieces of advice for the creative life and maybe just for life in general that I've, I've ever heard. The notion that not only is it impossible to control everything in the creative moment, but that it's not even actually a good idea. What you want to do is to allow some room there for the unexpected to appear. And that has, for me, now become the thing I cherish the most in my writing process. So leave something for God. Discipline is the key. We writers are always, always our own worst obstacles. Always that judgmental voice in your ear criticizing what you're doing, telling you it's not good enough, you should start over, you should stop. You have to put that aside and just do the work. Just write the draft. There will be a moment later to go back and look at what you've done and be analytical and critical of it as you must be. But in the moment itself, you need to stay out of your way, buckle down, and just write. What playwrights do is tell stories. We are a storytelling species. It's one of the things, perhaps, that most sets us apart. Stories are the water in which we as human beings swim. They help us to make sense of the chaos of the world and the emotions that we experience. And as such, they are crucial to creating the world we live in. So this notion of the story you tell makes you who you are and the world around you, what that world is, means you have an enormous sense of power as a writer. And with that power, of course, a sense of responsibility. So I think the stories we tell matter. They matter very much. And it is through those stories that we writers impact the world. Because it's always an important and powerful thing to tell your story. But to tell this story right now is really critical if we are ever to make a change. And that is in part because you are in many ways a demographic that is most affected by this issue and simultaneously the most silenced. And I think it's time now, well past time, for you and your peers to speak up about what this means to you, how it affects you, how it has affected you, um, what it feels like to you, how it has changed your world and what you would like to see in its place. This, this may sound odd given the seriousness of the topic, but 
creativity should be a joyful expression, even if the subject matter is as serious and thought-provoking as this. So have fun. It's been great to talk to you. I wish you all the very best in all of your creative endeavors. Please submit your plays by June 20th to enoughplays.com. Thanks.